Lesson 4.6 is on object pronouns. Now remember, a pronoun renames a noun. What is an object pronoun? Well, we have subject pronouns. For example, I play the guitar. I is the subject and I is a pronoun. So in that case, I is the subject pronoun. So, if subject pronouns are pronouns that hold the position of subject, then object pronouns are pronouns that hold the position of object. Let's look at examples. The object pronouns are me, you, him, her, it, us, and them. Okay. And by the way, this is a great list down here that shows subject pronoun and object pronouns. We'll look at that in a minute. Examples. We made the invitations. We're going to send them out next month. In this case, we use object pronouns after a verb, and that's always true. We is the subject, made is the verb. We're going, we is the subject, going to is the verb, and then send them, them. So invitations is them, right? The invitations, we're going to send them out next month. So them is the object pronoun. I love the bride's dress. She borrowed it. What is it? The dress. So it is an object pronoun. We paid for the limousine service. We paid for it. What is it? The service. It. It is an object pronoun. Did you see the photos? Are you happy with them? An object pronoun can follow a preposition like at, with, of, about, to, from, in, etc. Over, under, beyond, through. Those are all prepositions. And an object pronoun, object pronoun can follow a preposition like in this case, with is the preposition them is the object pronoun, with them. Be careful with subjects and objects connected with and. After a verb, we use an object pronoun. Before a verb, we use a subject pronoun. So these are before the verb, these are after the verb. Let's look at examples. He invited my wife and me. Notice we do not say my wife and I, okay? In this case, my wife and me are the object. He is the subject, subject, verb, object. Be careful with subjects and objects connected with and, okay? He invited my wife and me to the wedding. My wife and I went to the wedding. So what is my wife and I? That's the subject. And because I am part of the subject, make sure you use the subject pronoun I. Okay. Let's look at some language notes here. An object can be direct or indirect. Now, what do we mean by direct object or indirect object? Well, we now know that the object of a sentence comes after the verb. Let's look at this. She, subject, invited, verb, me, object. What did she do? She invited, who did she invite? Me. So a direct object receives the action of the verb. Here's the action of the verb, right? Who was invited? Who received this invitation? Me. So that's a direct object. Again, another example. He showed me the pictures. All right, well, 
What did he do? He showed. What did he show? He showed the pictures. So we call me an indirect object. An indirect object answers to whom or for whom was the action done. Okay. We can use them for plural people and things. The word them. Let me circle that. We can use them for plural people and things. The flowers are beautiful. Do you like them? Plural, flowers. The bride's maids, plural, are beautiful. Let's take a picture of them. Okay. Compare subject pronouns and object pronouns. Okay, this is that, that uh, table that I said is so helpful. The subject pronoun is you. The object pronoun is me. The subject pronoun I. The object pronoun you. You love me. I love you. She loves him. He loves her, etc. Subject pronoun, object pronoun. Now, let's take a look at these exercises. Exercise 9 Fill in the blanks with an object pronoun that corresponds or goes together with the underlined words. Number one, in a traditional wedding, the bride, there's our underlined word, the bride, doesn't arrive at the ceremony with the groom. He arrives before her. Why do we use her? We use her because she is the object pronoun, right? Her, that's the object pronoun. We do not use she. Why not? Because she is the subject pronoun. And in this case, this is the object pronoun. Her is the object. For exercise 10, how was your... Oh, I'm sorry. Fill in the blanks with the correct subject pronoun, object pronoun, or possessive adjective. So you have to choose between these three. Will you choose subject pronoun, object pronoun, or possessive adjective? You have to fill in these blanks. So, question. How was your cousin Lisa's wedding last Saturday? It was great. Subject pronoun. Let's look at exercise 11. Circle the correct words to complete each sentence. I or I'm have a wonderful fiance, Katya. Katya. I have, right? Subject. Besides, I'm means I am, and it would make no sense to say I am have. Okay. Let's look at the second one. I love, is it hers or her? I love her very much. And she loves me, not my. Okay? So that's exercise 11. So you have four exercises. I'm sorry, three exercises to do in this assignment. Good luck.